Hi guys, today I'm sharing a bit about banknotes today instead of um, the coins. So today I'm sharing something like um, the Straits Settlements. This was issued in the year of uh, 1931 to 1935. So this is the one piece of uh, not really a good condition but still um, I would say it's better than nothing. So this was the last issued um, on 1st January 1935. This is the government of the Straits Settlements promised to pay the burial demands of Singapore $10 local currency for the value received. So the printer for this is Bradbury Wilkinson if you can see here at the bottom. So New Melden, England. So this is how it looks like. It's written in Chinese, English and Jawi as well. So that's as of the time in 1935. So this is how it looks like, 10 ring, ten dollars uh, in the years of 1935. So exactly the same for the 1931 to 1935, but the most valuable is 1932, where it's a bit rare. Also issued on the first day of the year. Um, obviously, is the, the date you will see here is the first January, and most of it are printed by. The printer of a uh, printer Bradbury Wilkinson. So the last one, um, if you see here, 1935 in the auction, it was sold at 56,000. So, but this can't be a out of study. It's 56,000. It's just a normal banknotes. Um, those that you can see, then it will fetch a very good price. So it's worth to collect anyway. If you can see here, it shows the uh, tiger face under a watermark. And I don't see any uh, security tricks as well, besides the, the um, watermark as you can see here. And um, the number, the $10 looks like a bit like a 3D dimensions. And it's, it's a very, very classic uh, banknotes if you can see. So, okay, let's have a look at the back of it. So, at the back of it, this is the queen. And then it shows there's a reverse here, there's a tiger. And the most important thing, it shows the printer, Bradbury Wilkinson Company. So it's a very perfect condition anyway, I would say. But it's just that it's, it's edges and it becomes foxy. So this is how it looks like. Because I just wanted to share with you on the banknotes, the 10 ringgit, $10 on that's for the Straits Settlements, Government of the Straits Settlements from 1931 to 1935. So this is how it looks like for banknotes. It's already, um, I put it in a graded. It's not that good yet. So this is C39. So hopefully I may share one. I do not have much to talk about these banknotes. It's issued in the $1, $5 and $10. So this is other uh, the the banknotes for stress settlements. So hopefully I will share more in my coming days if I come across. Uh, at the moment I have this only. So I'll share more in my coming days. So if you have any of these, it's worth to collect. And uh, I'm still looking for all these stress settlements banknotes to keep a copy of it. Keep a keep a you know as a collection. I still have not complete yet. And I'm still in the midst of finding, and hope the price is getting higher and higher, and it's a bit hard to collect anymore at this at this years. So I a bit a miss of it compared to the previous years where the price are not so high. Not too bad, price have gone up due to the inflations. So no choice. I I can only collect whatever I can afford off. So this is the best banknotes. Um, Hopefully I can get their bigger denominations. So if any comments or any in introductions or anything you would like to know or you want to share with me as well, you can put it under my comment and I'll try to reply and make more friends with my uh, subscribers. So thank you very much and have a nice day for watching my video. And if you like my video, hopefully you can click subscribe and like my video more. And share more information in the YouTube as well. So thank you again, have a nice day.